Hi, my White Jackets. It's great to see so many of you in class this week. I always enjoy working with you. Thank you very much for joining me and your friends in class. You're welcome to bring guests anytime. Just have your mom and dad email me and we'll work that out together. I hope you've been working well on your schoolwork. I hope you've been doing well with your chores, including cleaning your room. I've already got some photos of you guys doing this week's assignment for integrity and perseverance. So thanks for working on our black belt challenge and putting black belts in life. This week we work on learning six counts, which is a great way to do form combinations and one-step combinations and will really help you to get your form and one-steps better. So as soon as you know your one-steps, you can show me for your first strike, and then as soon as you know your second strike material, which is your form, you can show me that too. So I'm looking forward to seeing so many of you at our live belt promotion tomorrow, and then I'll look forward to seeing everybody else in class really soon. For our warm-ups today, we'll alternate upper body and lower body so that we get our whole body ready to work out today. So let's begin with just skipping on the spot, switching legs, get our calves warmed up. All right, just a couple more. Then we'll do the same thing on the floor. One, two, okay, here we go. So on the floor, what we'll do is be in high plank position. We'll do one push up, and then we'll bring our knee up to our chest, knee up to our chest, push up, knee up to our chest, knee in tight, push up. One, two. Try to keep your body really firm. And don't look down, because you want your knee to come right up to your chest. Two more. Good. Okay. <clears throat> now let's do long jump forward, and then short jump backwards. Okay, so big, big long jumps, and then short jumps backwards. Big long jumps and then short jump back. Jump as far as you can. Land on the balls of your feet and soft knees. Good, okay. Let's do stretch number 11. The one foot out in the front. So this will Help us get ready for front kicks, crescent kicks, axe kicks, all those kicks in the front. And turn. And change legs. Down and turn. Good. Okay. Let's get back in our plank position and we'll get ready for side kicks. So bring your knee up, changing legs, foot as high as your knee. And two more after this. One, two, all right, good job. Okay, now let's do side stretches so that we are turning, pivot like this, turn both heels towards the target, and lift up like this. So pivot and opposite side. So changing legs each time, bend your knees, turn your back, both heels back there, lift up to the side. Turn, lift up to the side, turn, that's right. So essentially should be going from front stance to front stance. Okay. And of course you won't need to lean near as far as I'm leaning because you're young and I'm old. So there we go. Tiny bit higher each time. All right, one more each side. Good job. Okay. 
Let's go to stretch number 12. So feet wide. Okay, and one more upper body warm up. We'll go like this. We'll do a push up. And then we'll do the elbow strike behind us. Push up and elbow strike. Rotate. Hit hard. And two more. Good job. All right, one more stretch, and then we'll get ready. So let's do stretch number three. Just put your feet wide and lean down to one side like this. If you can grab your foot, go ahead and do that. If you can grab your feet with two hands, awesome. Okay, up, sit up taller, and down the other way. And one more, sit up tall, feet wide, and lean down the middle. Good. Okay. I hope you're ready for class now. Lots of you know that my instructor since White Belt has been Grandmaster Hawkins, who founded Family Karate back in 1971. But not a lot of you may know that Grandmaster Hawkins has had the same instructor since he was a White Belt, and that instructor is Grandmaster Burleson. And in the first instructor class that I ever went to with Grandmaster Wilson, he taught us a great way of doing our combinations on one spot, or really close, just taking a couple of steps each way, so that we could have not a lot of space like most of us have in our homes or in the spaces that are working out right now. They're called six counts, sometimes they're eight counts. It just depends on what combination you're working on. So let's work on the combinations from our new form and one steps in six counts or eight counts. So number one, we'll do like this, stepping forward, just to remind us in the form we have to step forward. So number one, one, two, three, step down, four, five, six. And then go back to number one again. So one, two, three, step forward, turn, and one, two, three. So three and three make six. So let's practice this one together a couple more times. Look where you're going. Block, punch, front kick, step forward, turn, one, two, three, turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is a great way to practice. So, so now we'll jump up to eight counts so that we can count each move of number two and number three, one step or form combination. So let's step, remember, same steps out to the side and then back the other way, a couple steps this way and back the other way. So here we go. For the second one, one, two, three, four. After we refold, look the other way. One, two, three, four. Nice, make sure to refold. So let's count it as eight, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, All right? So a great way to practice with not a lot of space, changing sides of our body, trying to do them identically on each side of our body. All right, let's get to our complicated one. This again will be an eight count for number three. So, one thing I want you to get is, we're not doing a spin inward crescent kick. We're doing an inward crescent kick and then a spin knife hand as we step forward. So, might need a little bit more space for this one. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
All right, so let's count that as eight. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you get that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so practice those one million times, and your one steps in your form will get a lot stronger and a lot easier. Hi, everybody. This is my Karate Kid, Carly. I'm so happy she's here to help me today. So we'll bow in and show you the one steps, and I'll tell you a couple of quick things about them. When we get to the form, I'll tell you how the form is different from the one steps, but right now we'll show you just detail on the one steps, okay? okay. You can step back and low block, and you'll be the bad guy each time, and I'll be the good guy, okay? So number one, high block, punch, front kick, right? High block, punch, front kick. And you can do that on either side, you just have to pick the right spot. Okay, second one. So block, punch, punch, and then with your front leg, side kick, side kick. All right, I'll talk you through that in just a second. What you have to be able to do is have enough space to side kick on that one. Okay, and number three. Evade, punch, push the person's hand down, so it's not in the way when you do inward crescent and then step chop. All right, so one more time. Number one, two, and three. So one is high block, you might have to step back, punch, and front kick on the same side. Number two, <laughs> go ahead, <laughs> that's right. And then evade, punch, punch, Step away backwards, you have enough space to do a full side kick without touching, and that's it. And then number three is evade, punch, push, big circle, step towards the person, and chop. Okay, so those are the three one steps. Just have to make sure that you're doing them safely like this, okay? Thank you very much. Today we're going to work on our new white jacket form. So white, orange, and yellow belts, you've been working hard on your one steps, and on form segments, now you get to see the whole thing. I'll do it three times. I'll do it one time fairly slowly. Just remember we keep moving forward. One, two, turn, three. One, two, turn, three. And yell at the same spot, so we'd yell in our one steps, the last move of each segment. So let me show you the form one time fairly slowly. Second time I'll explain it in a lot of detail, and then third we'll do it so that you can follow along with me. All right, so here we go. Okay, so let me explain what we're doing here. We're raising our right hand, and we're doing high block, and then reach out, and reverse punch, and then hands up and front kick. Then we're doing block, punch, punch, side kick, turn after the refold, and then we're doing number three, punch, inward crescent, step spin, chop. Now you should walk straight forward. I have to step back just a tiny bit to make space, but step forward with the new side, and we're doing number one again. And then the second one, and after refold and balance, turn, and number three. So you saw there's no push down there. We're just doing the kick straight after the block. So I'll turn my back to you. I'll do the form one more time. 
Hopefully you'll be able to follow along as I do it slowly. And I'll say the names for you as well. High block, reverse punch, front kick, block, punch, punch, side kick, turn, punch, inward crescent, step spin, chop, step forward, high block, reverse punch, front kick, block, punch, punch, side kick, turn, punch, inward crescent, step spin, chop and come back up to me. So hopefully these three ways will help you to learn the form well, and I'll really look forward to seeing you in class and seeing how you're doing on these. Thanks very much. For those of you who are visual learners, like I am, I'm going to demonstrate the form, the way our feet are moving in this form, uh, to show you what direction we go. So let's imagine we start here, now let me say, if you're an orange belt or a yellow belt, you've done this same pattern before, even if you haven't done this form before, because it's one, two, turn, three. So you've done that. So let's talk about this one. Start here, do the first one step, stepping out with your left, number one. <clears throat> so you're stepping forward, high block, reverse punch, front kick, step forward, right on your landing from that front kick, you're gonna block, I'm sorry, this is number one. And then step forward and do number two one step. All right, so here we're doing block, punch, punch, side kick, refold. After we refold, we turn and look the other way and we do number three one step. So I'm gonna make it look like a racetrack, but really it's straight up and down the same lines. So. This one is our long fun one where we do block, punch, inward crescent, step, spin, chop, okay? Then we need to remember at the end of that one to change sides of our body so that we are walking forward and doing a new side on number one. A new side on number one. Then we go straight, keep going straight forward, just keep moving that one and do the second one. And then we turn back around again, and we're doing number three to get back to our starting spot. Okay, so one, two, turn three, change sides of your body, new side starting on the right, one, two, turn three, and each of these, one and one, two and two, three and three, will be on opposite sides of the body from each other. So hopefully this will make the form demonstration I did for you a little bit more clear and help you to get the direction of the turns. So I asked Mason, what kind of tree fits in your hand? You know what he said? A palm tree, of course. <laughs>